Hey guys, if you want to know how to DIY your own journal and planners, keep on watching. Hello, hello, Victoria Sheree here. And today I'm going to show you how I assembled my journals and planners. This was one I made in 2017. It was my first practice one. It came out pretty good. I absolutely loved it and it held up. And if you notice, it is not laminated. That is just really awesome glossy and thick cardstock. So the front is glossy cardstock and then the back I have this chipboard craft. Um, I'll tell you about where I got everything. So of course you'll need um, lined paper, you'll need a planner, something to put on the inside. So um, if you want some of my designs, I'll put it up there. And then this is just a practice design that I printed off. It's 8.5 by 11 glossy cardstock. It is absolutely amazing and thick. Some days she has no idea how she'll do it, but every single day she gets it done. I love that quote. Um, I'll link to where I got the clip art too. Um, the back side is just a matte black, or I'm sorry, just a matte white, um, but the front is glossy. And then this craft cardstock, I got it from Etsy, but this is their website as well. I absolutely love them. I use some wire coil. Again, everything will be um, in the description. You can also use spiral. I have a hole puncher for that, but I'll save that for another video. So I do not use a cinch. I use the True Bind. It's commercial grade. It's absolutely amazing. No multiple punches for a single sheet of paper. Um, it's legit. Um, wire Bind TB. W20A. Um, it has a 3-1 pitch. If you don't know what that means, I'll talk about that another day. Basically, it's three holes for every inch. Um, but this is the lever. You push that down to do your punches. You slide that side to side depending on the width of your wire binding. And on the inside, it's also where you um, close the coil. So I'll show you everything. Now, this is that amazing paper. Um, 96 pounds that's thick thick so it has to be um, a top loading or rear feed um, because it's thick like look at this I absolutely love it um, it's perfect for actually um, using as postcards for the holidays but it works amazing for planners and journals as well so it gives it more of a polished look instead of having to do lamination but it's thick thick as you can see I absolutely favorite paper okay so let's go ahead and get started I'll show you how I do my assembly process it's so easy it's literally just hole punching so I'm just getting my stuff together again I'll link to where I got that clip art from it's an Etsy designer I don't recall the shop right off top so I'm going to start just by hole punching the craft cardstock for the back it has disengaging dies, so that means you can pull them in, pull them out, in case you don't want to use all the holes. But if you notice, it lets you know where the letter size paper ends. So I just pull out the last two, and then it's going to cut perfectly. I do not, do not have to do multiple punches like you would on the cinch. So everything will line up. All right, next I'm going to do the paper. I'm thinking about selling these in my Creative Boss Academy Etsy shop as templates for you all to edit yourselves. So if you're interested in that, let me know because for my planners, I actually use InDesign and not Photoshop. So if we have some InDesign people out there who need some templates, just let me know in the comments below. Okay, and now I am just hole punching that cover. So this hole punch can actually punch about 20 pages at a time, but I always do my front and back separately, and then the insides, you can punch about 20. So if you notice, it has the little metal pieces in the back. That's where you hang the wire binding. I had a little bit of trouble just because of the positioning of the light, but um, usually it takes about two, two or three seconds to put it on there. A quick tip, you notice how I flipped it over. That's so the where they meet at, where they close, the wire binding is hidden. That's why I flipped that cover to the front. And again, I was having a little trouble, so eventually I said, hey, let me just pull it off and make it quicker for you all. 
So if you can't get it on there, just take it off and do it by hand. But again, it's not that hard. It was just the light was in my way. All right, so I'm gonna put it back on there and then I'm gonna put the insides in. And this is actually for a big planner. So the um, wire looks kind of big. Um, I'm putting, uh, putting it on the inside so it can close. Um, I had to do it multiple times because again, this is for like 80 pages and I only have about maybe 10 or 13. So um, you wanna make sure you get the right size for what you're making. And that's it, you guys. <laughs> I think I spent more time telling you about supplies than actually assembly. That is it. And as you notice, the little coils are hidden in the back. How simple and easy was that? So I definitely expect you all to be making your own journals and planners now. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Well, let's take a look on the inside. It says 2020 to 2020. Again, this was just a little practice one that I made for you all but 2020 year at a glance got that clip art from etsy and then you can break down your goals and plans for each quarter so first quarter second quarter third quarter fourth quarter um i think i'm going to add like some type of to-do list so the motto for the month the main focus actual goals and notes and then a two-page monthly spread i love that i don't like single pages because i write big but that's it. I hope you like, I hope you enjoy, and I hope you subscribe. Remember, this is the paper you need. Um, well, I guess I'll see you later, guys.